Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will solve an isotretical equation which is cube root of m plus square root of m is equal to 2 divided by 27 and we will solve this equation for m. Since this m is under square root, so a real solution of m must be greater than 0. Okay. Let's start its solution. Here we have cube root of m which can be written as m to the power 1 divided by 3 plus square root of m can be written as m to the power 1 divided by 2 is equal to 2 divided by 27. Now I will let that m is equal to y to the power 6. Okay. When we will substitute m is equal to y to the power 6 in above equation so our above equation will become y to the power 6 and its power 1 divided by 3 plus y to the power 6 and its power 1 divided by 2 is equal to 2 divided by 27 okay one more thing y should be greater than 0 because we know that m is greater than 0 okay so 3 1 time 3 3 2 times 6 so it will become y square plus 2 3 times 6 so it will become y cube is equal to 2 divided by 27 to remove this denominator we will multiply whole equation with 27 so it will become 27 y cube plus 27 y square is equal to when 27 will multiply it with 2 divided by 27 so this 27 and 27 will be cancel out and it will become equal to 2 now we can write 27 as 3 to the power 3 y cube plus 27 can also be written as 3 times 3 square y square is equal to 2 now we can write it as 3 y whole cube plus 3 times 3y whole squared is equal to 2. Okay, now again here we have 3y and 3y are same. So I will again let that 3y is equal to k. So our above equation will become k cube plus 3k squared is equal to Okay, we can also write this 2 as 3 minus 1. It is same as 2. We will take this 3 minus 1 to the uh, left hand side. So, it will become k cube plus 3k squared minus 3 plus 1 and it will be equal to 0. Okay, now uh, we will rearrange this equation as 3k squared minus 3 plus k cube plus 1 and it will be equal to 0 okay now we can say that this one is same as 1 cube from these two terms we have 3 is a common factor so it will become k squared minus 1 plus it is in the form of a cube plus b cube which will be equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. So it will become k plus 1 times k squared plus k times 1 plus 1 squared. And it will be equal to 0. Okay, here we have k squared minus 1 can be written as 1 squared. So, it will be in the form of, it is in the form of a squared minus b squared which is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So it will become 3 times k plus 1 times k minus 1 plus k plus 1 times k squared plus k, sorry, minus k because here minus a b. Minus k plus 1 and it is equal to 0. 
Okay, now you can see that in both terms, we have k plus 1 is a common factor. So, I will take k plus 1 as a common factor. So, it will give us, this divided by this will be 3 times k minus 1 plus it will become k squared minus k plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, k plus 1 times it will be 3k minus 3 plus k squared minus k plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, it will become k plus 1 times k squared 3k minus k will be 2k minus 3 plus 1 will be minus 2 is equal to 0 now k plus 1 is equal to 0 or this k squared plus 2k minus 2 is equal to 0 from here k will be equal to minus 1 but recall that k is equal to 3y so it will become 3y is equal to minus 1. So the value of y will be equal to minus 1 divided by 3. Now, it is in the form of a quadratic equation. So we will use here quadratic formula which is k is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So, k will be equal to here a is 1, b is 2 and c is minus 2. So, minus b means minus 2 plus minus square root of b square. So, 2 square will be 4 minus 4 times 1 times minus 2 divided by 2 times 1. So, a will be equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 plus 8 divided by 2. So, k will be equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of 12 divided by 2. Okay, square root of 12 is same as 2 times square root of 3 divided by 2. Okay. From these two terms, we have 2 is common, so 2 will be cancelled out with this 2. So, the final value of k will be minus 1 plus minus square root of 3. Or we can also, okay. But, recall that k is equal to 3y. So, it will become 3y is equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of 3. Uh, dividing 3 on both sides to find the value of y. So, this 3 and 3 will be cancelled out and y will be equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 divided by 3. Here we have two values of y. y is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 3 divided by 3 and y is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 3 divided by 3. Okay. So, this value of y is less than 0. So, we will reject this value. Similarly, this value of y is equal to minus 1 divided by 3 is also less, less than 0. So, we will also reject this value. So, the only value of y is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 3 divided by 3. Again, recall that y to the power 6 is equal to m. And we have to find all possible values of m not y so if m is equal to y to the power 6 so it will become m is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 3 divided by 3 and its whole power 6 so we can also write it as minus 1 plus square root of 3 divided by 3 and its cube and its whole squared okay so it is in the form of a plus b whole um, 
now we can write it as square root of 3 minus 1 and its cube divided by 3 cube which will be equal to 27 and its whole squared. So m is equal to square root of 3 minus 1 and its whole cube. It is in the form of a minus b whole cube which will be equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab squared. So it will become a cube square root of 3 cube minus 1 cube minus 3 times square root of 3 squared times 1 plus 3 times square root of 3 times 1 squared divided by 27 and its whole square. Okay. Now, m will be equal to square root of 3 cube can be written as 3 times square root of 3 minus 1 cube is same as 1 minus it will the square and square root will be cancelled out and it will become minus 9 plus 3 1 times 3 3 times square root of 3 divided by 27 and its whole square okay m will be equal to it will become 6 times square root of 3 minus 10 divided by 27 and its square so it is in the form of a minus b whole square which is equal to a square minus 2 times a times b plus b squared divided by it is uh, 27 squared which is same as 729 okay now m will be equal to 6 6 times 36 times 3 okay it will become 2 6 times 12 and 12 10 times 120 square root of 3 plus 10 square is 100 divided by 729 okay now 36 3 times 108 so 108 plus 100 will be equal to 208 minus 120 square root of 3 divided by 729 so it is the final value of m thanks for watching i hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye